Hi, my name is Mrs. Maley, and this is what you see when you first enter my classroom. I was really struggling with how to organize the shelves that I have, so I decided to go out and buy all of those little baskets that you see, and uh, even on the right, those puzzles used to all be in boxes, and I decided to get rid of the boxes and put them all in baskets with the little cover on the front that said what puzzle it was and what it looked like. This is just around the corner from those shelves when you first walk into the classroom. And this is now my magnet board that has lots of different words on it. Uh, this is actually the back of my bookshelf and last year I had some felt on it and the felt really wasn't working for me. The kids weren't really playing with the things on it so I decided to ask a friend of mine who's a welder if I could have some metal and uh, we actually put it on the back of the bookshelf and now it's a magnet board. This is on the other side of the shelves. This is actually in my carpet area. Um, I was trying to look for a way to organize all of my math things. So anytime that a kid would have a center, they would put it back, it would just end up anywhere on the shelf. So what I've done now is I have binder clips that actually say which center is going to go where. So as we build up to those centers, there'll be a spot for each little basket for it to go back to. This is at the front of my carpet area. So as you can see, we have a smart board and uh, all those little white dots on the carpet right now are for where the kids are going to sit until they start to learn their spot. Then we'll remove those little spots. And I actually have a cage hanging from my roof and those are for cage words. So any words that don't follow the rules of English go into the cage and every morning we read one and practice it. This is my math manipulatives and bookshelf area. I used to have my bookshelves right beside each other, but I found that when kids were going to try to find books for their book boxes, it would get way too crowded when both bookshelves were beside each other. So now I've split it up with a little area for on both sides of the shelves for the kids to enter the carpet area. And all of those little baskets now have places with binder clips as well to show the kids where those math manipulatives go. This is our desk work or table areas. I was really struggling with the arrangement of them and, and what we were going to do with those baskets on there. So what I've done this year is I have three baskets at each table that are going to be designated for one for their eye devices, two for their personal word walls, and then the third basket is for their news to tangs, which is like a newsletter to their parents every week. So that way I'm hoping that it'll keep everything separated and easy access to all of them. This green table is actually a new addition to my classroom this year. I'm going to use it as a themed table. So whatever we're kind of learning as a theme in the classroom or even with Genius Hour, I plan on using this table as kind of the artifact table where we can bring things in and wonder about things on the little table. So it's right in front of my desk so I can supervise it. And uh, it's really low to the ground so the kids will basically have to kneel um, in front of it. This area is at the back of my classroom. Underneath the counter is a little reading area for read to self. Behind me is the iPad shelf where we store all of our classroom iPads and they just plug into a power bar behind there. There's little holes in the back of the shelf that the USB cords fit through and the mirror really helps actually to see the cords and make sure that they're organized. And the little orange chair area is just a listening center where the kids can go and listen to books. This is one of my favorite areas of my classroom. It's called the self-regulation area. And basically kids can go into here on their own when they're feeling angry, sad, happy, tired, whatever. And basically they can go in there and there's some little books in that purple packet. And if they wanna read them or just kind of chill out there for a bit, they come out when they're ready to learn. And usually it's magic. They come in there sad and they come out there happy. So I really, really like this in a primary classroom. This is one last look at my classroom from the back of it where my teacher desk is and the self-regulation is. And this way you can kind of just see where the lockers are and where everything that I've talked about kind of fits into the classroom.